Howdy, kids! It's episode two of What's Shaken with Bacon. I am your host, the John Bacon. Uh, everywhere on the internet, I'm the John Bacon. Joined with me today is Dogfish Heads 60 Minutes IPA, a classic Americana. Oh my goodness. So uh, if you're listening to this on SoundCloud, you don't have to deal with the uh, pain and agony. But if you're watching on YouTube, the green and the label for the 60 Minute IPA is showing through as transparent. That's fun. Guys, I hope you've been well since last week. Uh, we're shooting this two days late. I'm trying to get this out on Wednesdays, both shot, edited, and uploaded. It's difficult to do given the week that I've had, but damn it, we're here. I love you, and we're going to get into the deep dive of my social media, i.e. the Twitters this week. Uh, you know, first things first, thanks for tuning in. Greatly appreciate that. Uh, hopefully everything went okay for you. If not, there's always next week, and you can tune in on the YouTubes where this will be uploaded. So first things first, we uh, jumped back into the stream machine. Uh, last Saturday, we played Dead Cells with Twi Twitch integration on. Uh, since it was my first like full-time stream uh, back on, it was a little rough, a little rough, but the meme scenes were engaged. We had a lot of fun. Uh, pal cdi arcade was mega heroic in being that captain chicken in dead cells it was a ton of fun we had twitching integration on we'll try that again in the future hopefully maybe tonight maybe tomorrow we'll see today is friday the 31st of august 2018 so we'll see what the future holds all righty Uh, so that night, Saturday, last Saturday, we uh, had a little bit of a fire in the backyard, hung out with Dr. Bacon, my wife, and of course, the moderator with the most, Dare to Smile, as well as a few other friends, had a nice big bonfire in the backyard, and uh, I did happen to uh, start the fire with gasoline, and I might have let the vapors build up for too long. It's okay, I still have my leg hair, just barely. Uh, but through the uh, drinking of the good beer and the good wine, at some point or another, I might have found my Samsung Galaxy Note S7 in the yard. That's okay, though, because it's a waterproof phone, and it still had plenty of charge. Thank goodness for being on the Android operating system. All I had to do was Google, where's my phone? So that was fun. Had a lot of, a lot of fun. My girl Dolly Pero was live on Twitch. Guys, definitely check out Dolly Pero. Also on Sunday, we pushed back the stream for God of War. It was the last day we completed God of War. I'm very happy about that. God of War so far uh, in 2018, definitely the best game of the year. I'm really excited for a sequel. Spoiler alert, it finishes well. It finishes strong. Uh, as Arthur Slugworth, my good friend, check him out. Arthur Slugworth uh, on everything. I'll just Google him. Uh, well, sorry. Do Arthur Slugworth Twitch. Google that. It'll be a lot faster. Arthur Slugworth is the character from Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory that pays for Gobstoppers. Uh, and his actual Twitch emote is Gobstoppers. So definitely check out Arthur. But anyways, he pointed out that the final credit scene of the game was not intrusive and was really enjoyable from the standpoint of it was just kind of to the side. And it was more or less... Um, it was, the, the, the ending credits were in the scene well in that it was almost as if everyone on the team was signing their name on the game because Kratos and the boy um, were to the left, whereas the credits were in the center, but you were still able to move around and have a really good time with the game. So uh, as far as 2018 on August 31st, uh, that's been the best game of 2018 in my opinion so far. Far Cry 5, pretty good. I didn't play it. I watched a ton of streams on it. I'd say that's a pretty distant second, and there's been nothing that's really come close to it. Dead Cells is good. I would say that Far Cry 5 is actually better than Dead Cells. Uh, Dead Cells being a distant 3 um, from 1. Now, granted, we do have Spider-Man coming out on PS4 a week from today, the 7th. Sorry, I can't do math. Yeah, uh, the 7th of September is when Spider-Man PS4 has come through. There's been a little bit of controversy during, or regarding the game, excuse me. And that controversy being a situation regarding the graphical rendering 
and early demos or early showcases of the game looking slightly better than some of the screenshots that have popped up. I uh, tend to go with the gaming journalists rather than the bloggers on this one, and I think that screenshots don't mean shit. Uh, anybody can edit, compress, etc. screenshot uh, into making it look like trash and then sharing it. And there's been no like live game footage shown off that looks bad. And the devs uh, for Spider-Man uh, in what's been called Puddlegate have done a really great job in kind of ceasing the issue, in my opinion. So Spider-Man for PS4 will be great and even better and more highly respected and regarded as Red Dead Redemption 2. And I see those three games probably taking somewhere randomly, or not randomly, but some one of those three games being... Uh, 1, 2, and 3 for 2018. And the interesting part is, of course, all three games on PlayStation 4. Had mu uh, lunch with the mother-in-law, so we were a little bit late. Also, this little gem popped up on Craigslist. Selling a few graphics cards, they are very lightly used. Purchase them to try to make profit selling to miners, but then, sorry, to Jen, <sighs> the market for mining crashed and people stopped buying them, LOL. So now they collect dust. So you were trying to like scalp, you couldn't, and then as a result, from being a shitty person, could not make a buck. Good for you. All right, guys, obviously the tragedy that happened in Jacksonville has taken um, loved ones away from families, and it's incredibly hard to process and incredibly hard to talk about. I don't feel as if I can give that justice, and I will not discuss it any further all I can say is that my heart it goes out to every family that's affected. I've uh, tried seven times now to properly record a response. But all I can say is that guy's a fucking douchebag. And uh, my heart really goes out to people that lost somebody. Jackson. All right, now with that, you know, horrible negative negativity, I want to jump past everything else and go straight into good old BDR getting that seven kills solo man. Oh my God, so loud. We're, we got to turn the volume down a little bit. Turn the volume down a little bit, y'all. Sorry about that. So he's got scar, purple scar, green pump, blue uh, suppressed SMG, and old girl. The heavy sniper rifle, the 50 cal. This is uh, sorry, this is BDR, Big Daddy Rocco. I'm a huge fan of him. Check him out on Twitter and Twitch and everywhere else. Uh, his channel is Rock Bottom TV. Uh, I believe it's twitch.tv forward slash Rock Bottom TV. Check him out. So here is his first solo win. He's peeking. He's peeking. He's peeking. He's looking for it. Window popped. Yes! Hit that body shot at 152 meters, it looks like. Got him. That's right, buddy. Way to go. I gave him that host. Your boy's got that host over there. And the uh, the bits. I was super excited to see him get that win. Uh, Rocco's a great dude. Definitely give him a follow. Check him out. Uh, so after that excellence, later on, I had to play some Fortnite. Uh, we had a lot of fun, got an immense amount of clips set up, and uh, just all in all, good day. Uh, old job, 6 out of 10 for stress the whole day. New job, which is my new position that I've started out with, being a product manager, is 8 out of 10 until the day is half over, and then 0 out of 10. Guess that means it's around a 4. Doesn't feel like a 4. Um, so this is just me basically discussing the fact that uh, whenever the new job is stressful, it's super stressful, and as soon as stress is gone, it's fine. I'd say, honestly, most of the time, at, at all times now, uh, I'm about a three, so that's good. It's always good to take stock of how stressed you are and, um, you know, what that means to you. Uh, being able to process and identify, I think, is key for everybody to move forward in a positive manner, so... Keep track of that, y'all. All right. Uh, so, super cool news is the fact that the Xbox One X and Xbox One S now have a subscription service 
paired to Microsoft and Dell. Dell is providing the financing, Microsoft, their stores. You pick up the Xbox from the store and approximately $35 a month is the price of the Xbox One X. That's the Ultra Beast 4K, 4K gaming rig. The Xbox One S, that's the you know mid-tier, or sorry, mid-cycle refresh. Uh, Homegirl's going to cost you $21 a month. Included with that package is uh, Xbox Live and the Game Pass. So a pretty good deal for the Xbox One S if you don't have an Xbox One at all. Or for me, some like me, I kind of want the Xbox One X. The great thing is, is the financing they do offer is 0%, but the fine print states that in the event you miss a payment, you default out, you are charged a 30% premium over what the APR would be, as well as are responsible for the remaining amount of the console uh, as a one-time charge. So you could get hit pretty hard. I would definitely try to avoid uh, missing a payment on that, but for some that have stable income, might be a great, great, great thing. I said thanks to everyone that came to the stream yesterday, especially the most loving, attractive man I know, Matthew McConaughey. I mean, Arthur Slugworth, and his response was, all right, all right, all right. This is a Slugworth. He's a good dude. Good old Arthur. Uh, here is the uh, ham fam. Just want to let you guys know, I am trying to upload every stream from Twitch to YouTube, and uh, if possible, if there's no copyrighted content, music, etc., it will be up on YouTube, and I'll even tweet about it. So, thumbs up. There we go. Uh, something else I was really, really interested in is um, if you're a small streamer or content creator, how much time do you spend editing videos a week? Uh, I was really surprised that 36% spend zero hours editing any video. Uh, I thought it would probably be somewhere in the less than five hours range, but I saw, I mean, obviously the biggest group is five to 10 hours, um, which I'd say I'm getting close to. I'm in the, you know, four to five a week. And then a few people had days, bro, a, uh, Twitter only lets you have four, four opinions or four spots. So, uh, that's why I just went with days. Really surprised at the results of either five to 10 or zero. Uh, CDI Arcade left a great comment on this and just basically said that he uses the Twitch clip ability to produce any of the chopping and just uploads it as needed. So that's a pretty cool system. Uh, obviously, Azrael Blood Gamer did a bunch of clipping for me earlier this week, and I just took all of his clips and made a super cut of it. Super cut of it, and we'll talk about that in a little bit. Oh, some wisdom from Dolly Parton. Was good morning, y'all. Just like you, I couldn't. Just like I couldn't be anybody but who I am. I hope you're true to yourself. Whether it's being a singer, a parent, a doctor, you get the picture. You know, it's always good to just appreciate who you are, guys. Deals with gold. So, uh, there was a Capcom and Rockstar game sale, and eh, no big deal. Uh, also, something I've been trying to do is how I rate on Twitch. So in the event somebody's a ham fan member, meaning they support the channel, they follow, you know, they hang out with me on stream. I go to the following section of Twitch, go through all the ham fan, put it in a you know notepad file, randomly assign numbers, and then use just an RNG, a random number generator. And uh, I call it Raid Roulette. And I think it's pretty fair. And uh, I'll try to make a meme scene for it in the future to kick off the random raid roulette or bacon raid roulette, something. It'll be really cool. Uh, really excited to do it in the future. I'm out. There we are. All right. Life pro tip. Transformation Tuesday. I'm not a doctor, but if you have a body mass index of over 25, never trust a fart. Yes, that is a poop joke. Oops. Moving on. Thanks to Arthur Slugworth for tolerating my poor skills at Lucio Ball and determining PC settings. So uh, we played. So life update. Uh, I've officially hit that sweet spot of success in which I have a PC that's able to run Overwatch very well, as well as a gaming console that has Overwatch downloaded to it. So as a result. PC, 
gaming console, two different sessions of Overwatch. So Dr. Bacon, my wife, and I were able to play two different sessions of Overwatch. Obviously, Overwatch doesn't have crossplay, but I was able to play with Arthur Slugworth, and she was able to just be her tracer beast self. All righty. Uh, Xbox One games in September. What do we got? Games with gold, the free games we have. I don't want to watch the video. Whoa, bro, you are... Stop. Bacon. Easy, bro. Blowing people's eyes out. Handy years. All right. For September 1st through the 30th, we have Prison Architect. For Honor will be August 16th through the 15th. That is free on Steam as well. Life Lock, uh, or Live Lock is September 16th to the October 15th. None of that looks familiar. Uh, for Honor, I played a demo of. I've seen a lot of people pay for it, and now they're probably obviously pissed. Paid full price. On Xbox 360, we have Sega Vintage Collection Monster World. Don't know if that's tied to the Monster World, or sorry, Monster Hunter is what I'm thinking of. Monster Hunter World. So that's two different things entirely. And then also Lego Star Wars 3, The Clone Wars. A uh, pretty weak listing, if you ask me. I'm not really interested in playing any of those on stream or otherwise. I should probably minimize there. All right, bro. I've got an in-ornament amount of work done already. May continue to do this in the future. This is in response to me not being able to sleep and starting work at 4 a.m. Holy crap. I got as much work done working from 4 a.m. to 6 a.m. with not having any interruptions or anything else. No mass influx of emails. I'd say then working from like 8 to 2 as far as like the working hours. Obviously, I'd work 8 to 4 because 8 hours. But I just got just an insane amount of inordinate things done. You guys should check that out sometime as far as uh, working different hours to see if you can get more work done if it's allowable by your job. All right, so guys, I hope that the microphone is uh, sounding a lot better. I uh, watched Pete from Gaming Careers YouTube tutorial on setting up some mic mixers. I believe that my noise gate closed too quickly and did not open soon enough last podcast. So I think that you might have missed out on some of the things that I said. I also or included words included a noise suppressor as well as a compressor so whenever i yell let's go uh the highs and the high volume is taken down a little bit so i'm not blowing people's eardrums out okie dokie artichoke st louis traffic and rain every single damn time yes indeed we have horrible traffic just due to weather also all white everything xbox one x came out this week or it was announced the best part about all of this in my opinion i even tweeted the lady did it or announced it is come on load brie white global product marketing manager so brie white wrote the copy and announced the xbox one fallout 76 bundle uh elite wireless controller and it's all white so all white xbox one x was announced by brie white it's cool i don't know maybe i'm just weird but i think it's funny and cool all right did some uh bonus stream action bonus stream action and then dolly Pero, oh good old dolly Pero, whom i love pointed out the fact that uh i mean her and panda remy both were very excited about sledgehammer the character and pointing out that you know maybe the John Bacon was a basis of Sledgehammer. Maybe I am, maybe I am not, who knows. Regardless, this is my perma character. I would occasionally float between Battlehound and a few other skins. Nope, playing with Sledgehammer here on out. And um, I uh, later did some picture taking. And as you saw at the introduction of the podcast, if you're watching on YouTube, there was a, a picture of the John Bacon, or sorry, it's the John Bacon, like a banner screen plus sledgehammer to the side there. We're just going to go ahead and use that as part of the uh, the love. We uh, announced the super clip take, and then also I went 
to the Rick Mobile. It's a Rick and Morty themed. Uh, let me see if I can pause it there. This is Rick Sanchez uh, from Rick and Morty. Really cool. Talked about on stream a bunch. Super cut of um, that sort of thing. Uh, sorry, that sort of thing. Guys, sorry. I try to do this as raw as possible, specifically because it's more genuine that way. Uh, this is a link to the YouTube of the super cut of the Fortnite stream. I don't know if I can prop it up anymore. Also, we did a cool avant-garde artsy profile picture of me doing the uh, the sledgehammer, almost like real life cosplay. Uh, basically, me wearing some Wayfarers backwards baseball cap, which is always a reg for me. Uh, sunglasses inside, not so much. But uh, that was bumped up against actual sledgehammer to kind of compare looks. Me retweeting a super hype for PlayStation Spider-Man coming out in one week. And then going over the agenda for specifically today, 10 hours ago. Record what's shaking with bacon. From there, I will pop in or convert it to MP3 so I can upload it to SoundCloud as well as YouTube. Record a merch video, edit the merch video, add to OBS, upload it to YouTube, stream, bring Dr. Bacon some dinner, and stream some more. What will I be streaming? I will be streaming some Fortnite probably, and um, maybe some other indie games. Also in the news, Eminem dropped Kamikaze, his new album. Some people are loving it. Some people are saying, meh. I think it's great. I'm listening to Spotify. It's a lot of fun. Check it out. Andrew WK, the party man himself, said party tips, same positive. Doesn't mean you don't feel sad or scared sometimes. It just means you keep going anyways, guys. And um, I know that the world's a hard place. I truly do. Right? Sorry, right now I'm playing with a dog. Uh, not everybody has a dog that they can rub on and uh, feel better about life all the time. I'm not happy all the time. I know that I come off as the guy that gives all of the Fs and um, has no chill. But um, I do get sad sometimes. I do get upset sometimes. I had a rough day at work today with dealing with another person who basically poo-pooed over everything that I presented over. But you know what? Life goes on. I have you guys here. You have me. Everything's going to be okay. So, you just keep going. Also, that's the last tweet. We got back up to the thank you ahead of time. For all who are able to enjoy my podcast, name with Shake of Bacon, it's long rambling crawl through my Twitter feed and me going on tangents. So this episode was far less on tangents uh, but that's okay sometimes. Guys, I really appreciate you tuning in. It's been great to have you here. Check me out next week. Hopefully it goes a little bit better. I feel like it's going a little bit smoother. Uh, we'll just see what I've been tweeting and sharing. I love you guys so much. You're all awesome. You matter to me. That's the Bacon and Sizzling, guys. We'll catch you in the next one.